Hey you guys, uh, this is Stephanie, Sweet Crafty Girl. Welcome to another video. So I just wanted to show you what I have made um, for a crafty friend, um, some projects. Um, I was actually inspired by Wendy, who is my Sea Creative Life. She um, showed this in her channel. It's a clipboard like acetate. I just looked at her project and just went by that. Um, pretty much like eyeballing it. So I made this little rainbow um, with some yarn. I just put some sequins on the rainbow. Little tiny pink bows. So it's like a little dangle just hanging right here. I did do this um, like a shaker. So it's a smooth. And then I did hand stitched it all around. And I used these. I forgot what you call these, but it's that tool that um, it just switches open it like this. There are the embellishments that I have made for her. But let me just show you the front cover. Um, I use this heart acetate that was gifted um, to me. Um, I think it's so pretty. I added music note on the background and I just I cut a little bit of this um, ephemera piece, um, added this butterfly die that I got from Endless Art Shop a while back, some of those beautiful flowers, and then I added the fox with the floral. I used my die, butterfly die, and they cut out all these tiny little butterflies. I'm not sure you guys can see that, but here's an up close what they look. So then the inside, this is what it looks like. Um, I did spray paint this pink. Um, it was um, silver, but I wanted it pink, so I just did that. So this is how I packaged my embellishments. These turned out so pretty. They are these bouquet flowers using garden party and i added the tiniest little pink bow acrylic i love how these ones look and then i made her some of these garden party hats and i did put some pink trim and the pink bow and i used that um what do you call that twine And then the next embellishments, I made her a paint brush, and I added a little dangle, and I put her name right there so you can't see it. And then there's a little butterfly with the two little houses. And then the last one is these embellishments. I actually did a Crash With Me a video um you guys would like to check it out i'll link it down below for you guys there's enough clothes how they look and this is the back um i did just tear some pages um that's how it looks and those are all the embellishments so yeah i really had fun making this little um clipboard acetate So you just close it like that okay then um here's some of the last one so this is a gift box that i just reused um there were some flowers um that i ordered from amazon and um i love the box of course because it was brown so, so i wanted to use it with garden party to add all my um handmade embellishments inside I did make a uh, shaker window and it doesn't really shake because I have like this box is like super full of handmade embellishments but let me just show you up close um, I did get this uh, die from Amazon it's like a kind of reminds me of, like a picture frame vintage picture frame and I just put the swan right there on the bottom with some cluster paper flowers that I've made with uh, different color patterns. So, and then I just put some more butterflies all around. 
on the box I did um, uh, die cut these borders to put on the outside of the box on the window dies are from Coco Reno so I just put it all around the front and I use my favorite paper pattern I love this paper so much I'll never stop loving it <laughs> So I did um, cover the box with using that pattern all over it, you guys can see. So the inside, there's so much stuff to show. So it looks so pretty, let me try to zoom you guys in a little. Okay, so the first thing I have made her. Um, this was my first time making this memory dex phone telephone um i've been wanting to make one of these so i finally got the chance to do it this is a aliexpress die that i got a while back okay sorry guys um i had to turn on my little mini fan on my table it's so hot here in california it's like 105 and i am melting <laughs> I seriously hate the summer. I cannot wait for fall, you guys. Like, I'm so over summer. Oh my goodness. Okay, so I'm so sorry for the noise, but it's so hot. And with these lights, um, even makes it, you know, really hot. Okay, so, okay, so I showed you guys the phone. Then I made her a pocket letter. I have not made one of these in so long. So, um, yeah, I did like a little mini pocket letter with a little dangle. Um, I didn't do nothing too much. I just decorated it pretty simple. So here I did like a little cluster with the fox in the house. Um, I made some of these um, paper flowers. And these ones are like using a punch. And I actually um, was inspired by Miss Evely. Um, she's an amazing crafter. Um, so she, I asked her where she got, if this was a dye or a punch, and she told me it was a punch that she got, and um, yeah, so I had to get it. These little flowers are just like the cutest, perfect little touch to add in your, some, in your projects, so I did that for her. And then here I added the cute little um, girl, the plant, added the word sweet. And then I use this paper right here, which is also my favorite. I love these three um, colors together with the mustard pink and the green. It's just so pretty. And then I did make these um, music note paper flowers. Not flowers, sorry. Butterflies. And this is the little dingle. I did. And then I didn't put nothing in the back. I just left it like this for her. So that's one of the things and I'm going to be gifting her some of these um, paper um, writing paper like kind of like vintage and some packaging and some other goodies inside which I'm not going to show you guys because there's a lot so I'm sure she's going to do a video of it and the next thing are these embellishments I did um, repackage it with the garden party, so I added some twine to keep it, you know, closed. I made one of these um, water cans, flowers, shaker. So this is a dye that I got from AliExpress. It's like a little birdhouse, and it's so pretty. And this is how I decorated mine. And I gifted her one of these paint brushes. She can, you know, decorate, of course. So that's that one. Okay, so this is a glassine baggie, and there's some goodies inside. Then I have some more embellishments. I have this heart embellishment, these tiny little teapots and with the teacup and the tiniest little spoon with um, a flower. This actually made not that long ago. It's this 
it's like a backpack dye from Coco and Reno, but I wanted to make kind of like a vintage um, junk journal um, using the these pink discs. So yeah, I thought it turned out so pretty. I actually have a video. Um, it was my first time doing like a video um, flipping through this and my Instagram. I'll link it down below for you guys if you guys are not following me. But I usually post my projects there first, then I do my videos. <laughs> yeah, I just left some pages blank for her so she can uh, decorate um, however she likes. I only decorated the cover and then I added some like little tags um, in the inside, some pockets and yeah all of that fun stuff um the next thing is this little um container this is actually a um gum container so i just pretty much um recycle it inside i have some die cuts for her some of those birdhouses these flowers and then these ones in here and yeah it's a cute little way to send out some happy mail with these little gum containers so the next thing is this little treat bag um this one is a embellishment it's a teacup that i got from aliexpress this die this is how i decorated the tag um then i have some more little embellishments um, I did package it up using that wrapper. I love packaging up my embellishments using these um, wrappers that I got from AliExpress. And I just used my um, heat tool to give it that like packaging candy. A wood veneer teacup. I'm sorry. This is a wood veneer teapot that I decorated. I actually have a video of this on my channel. I actually made two of them. Here's the other one. They turn out so pretty. And here's another heart embellishment. But this one's with the wood veneer bike. And then I made her this uh, shaker corduroy. And I love how this one turned out. Sorry for the glare. There you go. Okay, then here are these little um, cake stand and so I love how this one turned out also with the cake stand embellishments listen up close this is a memory dex envelope um, this one's actually from Coco Reno and um, I just use this felt pink bow I love this mustard paper from the collection and then this is also from Cocorino dies and they are like these small version envelopes so I just die cut it those for her and just put it inside there there's another Cocorino die it's like the pocket one these beautiful cute words um, using vellum and then here's the pocket. Kept it pretty simple with the butterfly. Some music note ruffle paper. Okay, so this is a book I made here. Inside um, are some embellishments that I've made that I'm not going to show you guys. I already packaged it up. But this is how I decorated the front. Then the last thing is this envelope. The little mini me. And then a bigger one and this one I did like um, a shaker vellum with some embellishments inside so this is how it turned out really pretty and then this is what the box looks inside I just used this pattern I love this one so that is all the goodies that I have made for her now let me just Try to remember how I had everything. Probably not gonna go how I had it. <laughs> so there's that one, and then here's the last thing.
going to be my last garden party project to show you guys. I am finally done. And I, as much as I love this collection, but it's time to take a little break from it. And I cannot wait to start doing Halloween projects. And stay tuned. I definitely have some Halloween hauls coming. And yeah. So um, if you guys are not following me, please don't forget to subscribe and have a good day and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!